Hi guys, Paul from International Scale Modeler. Just going to give you a quick um, video walk around of uh, my modeling cave. Um, show you a few bits and bobs in here and what have you. Uh, just a quick overview of what I've got. Put a couple of pictures up on the form as well, as well as the actual in process, uh, process build that I did from my blog, which starts this thing from right from the beginning all the way to it is now. So, I've got various art on the wall, aircraft some shooting art, what have you, um, all my die cast planes in a dog proof case because they keep knocking them over as you do, um, we've got a, a shell there off a Type 23 figure, frigate um, off a four and a half inch gun, I've got a friend in the navy, um, very kindly got me that, uh, gave it me so nice to have a home for it at last, uh, central heating radiator Right next to the house, my modeling cave, so it's fed from the house boiler, so it's nice and warm in here when it needs to be. Um, up to the top, we've got a couple of um, deer antlers that were given to me by that guy there, Tim, known as Zing Pal on our other forums. Uh, lives in Michigan and shot this deer from his tree stand uh, hide with a compound bow and sent me them over as a birthday present. So. I've had about three years now, nice to finally have somewhere to put them. Um, so pride of place on my wall, that's for sure. A few other bits and bobs, St George's Cross, very proud to be Brit uh, English, and they said British. Very uh, proud to be English, that's for sure. A couple of completed models, MB109, Stuka, Yag Panther, Mini. A um, couple of uh, die cast models, mostly old Escorts, Fords, and what have you. Um, my sound system. All Yamaha, Yamaha amp, uh, tuner, CD player, which runs off that pure uh, iPhone, iPod dock there. That runs to two monitor audios, BX2s, awesome little speakers, I say little, not that little. Um, absolutely belt the sound out, sound absolutely superb. And that's partnered up with that sub under there, which is Kaysen's fell off. And the sound in here is absolutely phenomenal, absolutely rocks the place. Uh, my neighbours must absolutely hate it. So, underneath books, so we've got a lot of popular books. We've got MIG, Jimenez, uh, FAQ, FAQ2, um, FAQ figure painting, it's quite hard to find that one. Uh, brilliant books, absolutely superb. Tank Art 1 and 2, haven't read those yet, they look absolutely brilliant as well. A lot of the Osprey books, um, some covering an actual genre. Others come in particular subjects, planes, specific aircraft, what have you. Various DVDs, again, FAQ, MIG, uh, Vallejo, what have you. And some of the Tamiya CD-ROMs uh, on various subjects, T-34, Sherman, ME-109, Mustang, what have you. They're brilliant. Give you a full um, walk around the aircraft with pictures. You can get right in the cockpit. Turn the camera and go around, really superb reference, absolutely fantastic. Quite hard to find as well, I believe they're quite expensive when they came out. All the various books, um, covering all various modelling, World War II, aircraft, etc. And a pile of um, old scale model magazines my girlfriend found in the charity shop, so good little uh, read when I get bored. Oh. Pop over here, so more artwork on the wall. They're actually A5 poster prints from air shows uh, from, I forgot now, uh, RAF, completely forgotten, mine's gone blank, I'll find out and post it on the uh, thread later. So my completed models, you've seen a lot of these pictures of them, Mustangs, love them, favourite aircraft, so there's a few of those there. Um, there's the other monitor audio there, on the other side, up the top. Like I said, I'm a shooter, um, so there's some awards I won, a couple of first places in national events, um, and some first place local. A couple of pics at the top, my ugly mug on the far left, and Nigel Williams 99 who joined our forum, my, my best buddy. Me received one of these awards a few years back. Uh, we've got a few classic Ford car postcards. What have you? Quickly scoot over here. We've got a load of replica weapons. So we've got a Springfield, sorry, Springfield Army's 1911, 
Brown in 9 mil, uh, Colt 1911, MP5, and just below there's a Glock. Uh, at the back we've got a US pineapple grenade, World War II Mills grenade, all deactivated obviously, a couple of speed loaders. This is just stuff I've accumulated over the years and finally got a home for it now rather than be locked away somewhere. So it's quite nice. A couple of collectible knives, a Boca Magnum, handmade uh, Lancer Kendon bushcraft knife. That's a lovely knife. Used to be my hunting knife. Pick on the wall, my dad's old shop. Um, my dad was a plumber. I followed his footsteps every time with him. Sadly no longer with me. Miss him every day. Uh, that was a shop he had not far from here. And I can remember being there as a kid. Really happy memories. So nice to have that in here. Uh, my granddad's World War II medals, Navy Star Service Medal. Uh, he was in the Merchant Navy. Good story on that. I'll have to tell that on the forum actually. What have you? So various air pistols, BSA, Magnum, Scorpion, Barricade should be 45. Empty shell casings, various bits and bobs there, just all stuff again. I, I designed this so it didn't have any empty wall space, so I've used every bit of it as much as I can. Still got more to fill, and I will get there eventually, but for now it's where I've got. Empty ammo can. So, onto some completed models. So, we've got Tammy's Bismarck, a couple of red arrows, a sub, a couple of Hasegawa egg planes. Um, they're pretty little planes, they are, I love doing them. Then we've got my um, TV, which CCTV's hooked into it from the house. Also, I put my camera on that when I'm filming, so I've got an actual visual reference of what I'm doing. Some more completed models, various subjects, yada yada yada. My VS tank, my Abrams. Steve might like a look at that. I got a video of that going one day, and a little Tiger. That's remote control too but it's broke at the minute. I will fix it somehow, because it's a cracking little model. So there's a Star Wars fan, there's a few bits and bobs. I used to have a massive collection. Thinned it down about a year ago and kept the main bits, which for me, Boba Fett. Everyone needs Boba Fett in their life. A few other bits and bobs up top, sub. Mini Ardingo, Mercedes Roadster, it's a shocking kit, that Rebel kit. Airwolf, and a Bedford Tipper. So. That's a quick run through all the uh, bits and bobs in here, and then we get down to the actual modeling bits and bobs. So, first lot, all my weathering stuff. Um, Tammy and uh, enamels at the top. Next one down, life color acrylics in face tones and oil effects, fuel effects, what have you. Big pigments, the lower pigments. Fori models wash, they're a very good wash. The Leo acrylic wash, they're fantastic. Some of the MIG uh, oils, fixes, uh, resin fixes, everything. Sin Industries filters, absolutely superb for armour work. Love those, absolutely love them. Oh, first lot, <laughs> so much to get through. Uh, full range of uh, Mr. Hobby paints, they're new to me. I've recently bought them. I've had to rearrange in here to fit those in. Uh, all various primers, clear coats, what have you. Sink, hot and cold running water, very handy. Um, this is my little work area for the computers, printer, what have you, my camera. So if I'm uploading pictures or on the floor, I'm usually sat there. We've got probably 90% of the Vallejo colour range. Um, superb, absolutely love those paints, all hand painting is done with them. Uh, MIG oils and Winsor Newton oils again for weathering, um, essential if you're an armour mo uh, modeller. Full range of Vallejo Air, including new ones. Um, at the bottom of the white bottles, uh, Vallejo uh, model colour, well the Panzer Racers, special edition ones for tanks and what have you. I think they're in collaboration with the Panzer Race magazine and all my Alclads. So again, all the um, metal works done with those mostly. Current E models build is that giant motocrosser bike. Then we've got the, the full Tamiya range, all the uh, acrylics, the full life color range, superb paints, absolutely brilliant. Um, just coming in and I'll have a quick sit. 
but then we've got all modeling sundries, all the bits and bobs I use. So, various fixers, glues, decal solutions, super glues, thinners, masking tapes. There you go. Glues, Morse fillers, Mr. Surfacer, putties, polishing compounds, some actual working area. Uh, three things I wanted when I designed this. I've been designing this for three years. Um, I had a massive accident, car accident, and I've been planning this for a long, long time. It was bags of workspace, which I've got, because I was sick to death of running out of room, so I can have two, three models on the go, no problem at all. Plenty of plugs or outlets for you Americans. Um, sick to death of having to unplug something to plug it in. So I've got 11 double sockets in here. It's a 12 by 8 room and there's 11 of those. So there's plugs everywhere. They're all around the top. All the way around there. They're underneath. Right underneath. Just everywhere. All over the room. So I'm never short of a plug. And it's absolutely superb. Uh, further along down below we've got the brushes. Um... That was the third thing, sorry, I missed the third thing. I was just plenty of storage drawers. I'll get to them in a second. Cotton buds, cocktail sticks, uh, my missions models, photo etch tool, sanding sticks, all my modeling tools I use regularly, mostly Tamiya, um, a few uh, trumpeter in there, water, masking tapes, all sorts there. You've seen this lot over here, it's all my airbrush and stuff, covered on the other video, including my booth, my other tripod for when I'm filming in there so that's where that sits up top here we've got some old vintage modeling paints a couple of well three matchbox sets unopened i think they're from the 80s so quite nice i found those on ebay some old vintage airfix enamel paints and a few old bits and bobs there to the left calendar more art there's the bad boy right there that's what we're looking for and my favourite car of all time, Series 1 Ford Escort RS Turbo. I will own one one day. Um, got a four door car for now, um, for ease. Um, but I will own one of those one day. Um, other things we've got, like I said, loads of storage. So, loads of kitchen units they are. Full of various things, like I said. All my stash is in that cupboard. That cupboard, I haven't got a massive stash. Um, quite fussy on what models I choose all different uses in the cupboards but these two lot here are all my modelling stuff so in there we'll bring the lights over we've got all the other modelling tools that you use so there's all sorts in here razor saws, pliers tweezers, photo etch scissors elastic bands knife blades, everything's in there paint palettes pastels, a lot Next one down, again more tools, uh, paintbrushes, they're like throwaway paintbrushes for weathering, old ones are picked up here and there, airbrush spares, a few other mediums and stuff in there, I've got helping hand holders, polishing cloths etc. Go across to this one, we got all extra paints, so basically what's out on the racks, these are the duplicates I've got, spares, all the most commonly used paints I use. So I've always got a colour of a run out, always make sure of that, a bit OCD on paint, as you probably noticed. We've got various primers, uh, thinners, uh, extra cocktail sticks, cotton buds, polishing compounds, masking tapes, decal mediums, and actually shed load of polishing sticks. Uh, I think I really do need help with polishing sticks and paint, I've got a real problem. Um, and in the last drawer, it's basically the bigger bottles of... Uh, lack of thinner, screen washer uses a cleaner, and empty bottles which I clean out and reuse for paint mixes. So that's basically it, guys. That's my modeling cave. Took me a long time to um, to build and sort out and what have you, but love it a bit. I'm in here all the time, um, hours and hours a day in here. Absolutely love it a bit. Um, one other thing I've done as well. There's two lots of lights in here. We've got the main lights above, which is those. And then around the tops above the paint racks, there's a rope LED light all the way around. And underneath as well, if I turn that off, there's a light all the way around. So I can have a bit really bright or 
with the work light on. Plenty of light to work by and nice calm surroundings. Give that a hell of a lot of light, those, uh, heat those lights. Um, they actually heat the room up, believe it or not. Um, which shows just how well this is insulated. So, I hope you like looking around. Um, I'm going to go upload this to the forum now. And I'll see you all on there.